Hi everyone, it's me, Ellie Diamond, and welcome back to my channel. This week's episode of Dolled Up With Diamond. For this week's episode of Dolled Up With Diamond, I'm going to be showing you guys how i done my makeup for the runway of RuPaul's Drag Race UK Season 2 Monster Mashup. For this, I took inspiration from a werewolf and a goblin and mashed the two together. So if you want to see how I achieve this look, then keep on watching. Right, so I have primed my face and shaved off camera and um, we're gonna get into contacts. Um, now, I had never worked with contacts before this. Um, on the show, it was very much like, you've got this time to get ready, get it done. And it literally took me about half an hour to 45 minutes just putting in contact lenses itself. Um, so the makeup might have been a bit rough on the show, but it was still a fun look. So I've been soaking my contact lenses in solution just a little solution thing i'm gonna put some drops in my eye just so that it's a bit wet for when i put the contacts in now i hate my eyes being wet at all like during drag or at any time to be honest like i just have really wet eyes and uh, so i'm gonna take the contacts plot the contacts in um but i'm gonna speed this all up because this is gonna be a disaster and it might take a long ass time, but we'll try it for the best. Right, so for this video, I've only done this look like twice after the show, uh, including today. So I haven't got a new nose prosthetic. So I'm just gonna take the nose prosthetic that I used from the show with the same makeup on it, the same eye shape, the same everything. Uh, and I'm gonna apply that with some uh, Prozade. I got this new bottle the other day. It's very good, very uh, cheap as well, but it, it makes shit stick. So with a little bit of baby powder on a, a cosmetic sponge, I'm just gonna tap around the edges of the prosthetic so that I know where I'm gonna be putting the glue. So I know I need to put glue around these edges for it to stick to the prosthetic. Uh, I'm gonna take some of the acetone on a little sponge and I'm just gonna start tapping that around the edges of the prosthetic, uh, of my uh, face where I'm gonna be putting the prosthetic because I know that that's where it's gonna have to stick down to once I go to glue it down. And I want to put a lot in the nostril crease and then underneath my nose as well. Just because the prosthetic has little nostril holes in there, so I want all of them to stick so it, it lays flat and there's no like funky edges sticking up. And then same with the prosthetic, I'm just gonna put some along the edges, roughly the same place that I put glue there before. Now I know you shouldn't be reusing prosthetics and all this fun garbage but uh, I'm like I said I'm born on a budget and I've only got one nose, I've got two noses, I've only got one prosthetic nose so that's what we're going to use. I'm just building up some more layers on my nose, waiting for them both to dry and we can get to gluing. So once you can kind of feel it getting a bit sticky, and once it dries clear, to be fair, you can then apply the prosthetic. So I will start from the top here because I want to see where that center point is. And then I just want to fit it to my nose and make sure it sits flush to where I want it. And then underneath here, making sure that that is sticking right in those cracks. Getting it all. Up. And when I was doing this part, when I was putting the prosthetic nose on, on the show, I remember Hora being like, yeah, that sort of looks like a witch's nose. And it's giving, it's sort of giving witching vibes anyways, like when I could have like the green skin, but like I was taking inspiration from green skin from like a goblin. So, I mean, in a way it sort of is a bit witchy, a bit goblin-y, a bit werewolf. Okay, so now that we have the contacts in, the nose prosthetic is glued down. I'm then gonna go in with my eyeliner pencil and I'm gonna map up my eyebrows. For this, I had really high, I wanted to look sort of angry, like an angry Disney villain sort of character. So um, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna map out roughly with a, 
just with any sort of brush where I want my liner to go up just because that line is quite important with this makeup because the eyeshadow gets blended all the way up and everything's really angular and high lifted so I need to sort of do the same with the eyebrows but I'm um, mapping out the crease again because I know that the crease is here obviously because of the prosthetic again with the eyebrows really high arch I kind of kept them a bit shorter and a bit more fluffier than normal And it's okay if they're not completely even <laughs> because um, we're just gonna fill them in with black anyways and we're gonna conceal around with them. Okay, now with my big tub of clown bite, you know, we love this in this house. We're just gonna take it and since we're gonna need to use this, we're gonna use our handy dandy back of our hand, scoop some of the back of that. And then we're gonna conceal underneath my eyebrows and get that under eye really really white for then all the colors to really stick on when we start doing eyeshadow and then with a sponge we're just going to blend that out underneath the eyebrows making that flawless and seamless so then when we do eyeshadow, all the colors really stick because with the base foundation being so green and quite a dark color, we need something really light to pick up all of the gorgeous colors we're gonna be using on our eyes. Okay, so before we go in with any of the base foundations with being green or whatever, we're just gonna go in and take some foundation, just a couple of pumps. You don't need much. Just because I feel like the green needs something to stick to first before it goes straight to your skin because it doesn't really give the best coverage. So I'm just taking a little brush and I'm just gonna blend this foundation all over just so that it gives me a slight base to work off of and to pick some of the color up from the green okay so now going in with the give face grease palette i'm then going to go in and do all the highlights contours and uh, the overall green skin tone for highlights we're using yellow because i feel like uh, I've used white on green high, uh, on green skin before and it's always not really looked realistic but when I done it on the show I used yellow um, and it looked really real like a real goblin sort of character so we're just going to go in and we're going to scrape some out of here and when I say some I mean quite a lot um, and then again on the back of the hand it doesn't really matter if you mix it in with the white it sort of all comes together in the end and then we're gonna take it, and then honestly, we're just gonna paint with our fingers because I feel like that's the easiest with paints like this. It kind of, if you put it on something else and you're wasting that product on something else and something else and something else. So just go in here and just start tapping all that into your face. And this is like a lot of product I've got on the back. This is a lot of product. I feel like I'm about to audition for Shrek, the musical on Broadway. So with a damp sponge, I'm just going to take some product in the back of my hand, scoop it up and start blending this out and just giving it a really good green overall base. So now that my skin is green and we're feeling the Shrek, Wicked Witch of the West, Alphabet, Fantasy and all that good stuff, we are now gonna go in and we're gonna take from the same flash palette, we're gonna take the white, uh, not the white, the yellow, 
And we're gonna, again, scoop a lot of that on the back of our hands. And it's okay if it mixes in with the green a little bit, again, just because it's a cream and they're all sort of blended together anyways. So I'm just gonna go in here and we're just gonna give this yellow its moment. So I'm gonna highlight in the same spots that I usually would highlight because I still wanna keep this sort of a drag, goblin, feminized character. So normal high, normal high, normal highlighting points. I did with this, just to sort of keep it, that element all in there. Okay, so I like the way that my highlights are looking just now. I like the fact that it's like, you can see the yellow tones and if you squint your eyes, you can see the darker greens as well. I am gonna go in with my black from the same palette, the same flash palette. I'm gonna go in with the black and I'm gonna put it on the back of my hand just where the uh, green is here, just so I can still sort of mix it in with the green so it's not so, so, so black, it's more like a dark green. Uh, I'm actually just gonna mix those two colors together because I think that's a better idea. So a little bit of the green again, and then take a little bit of the black and we're just gonna mix on the back of our hand, we're just gonna mix these two colors together so we have a sort of dark, green shade once it gets applied to a skin. Add a little bit of the yellow in if you want just to lighten it up. But we're just gonna take some of this and we're gonna start blending it to the normal contours of the face. So looking good, I can see it coming together now. Um, I'm gonna take some more of that darker color and I'm gonna pinch it and I'm just gonna put some right at the top here just so we can start to get a really nice contour color happening up here. Okay, so now that I've got all the colors down, I've got the greens, the yellows, and the blacks, we're gonna go in with baby powder and we're just gonna set our entire face and then come back and do some contouring and highlighting with powders. So now that I've powdered everything, I'm gonna go in and further highlight and contour with some powders using the Brights palette by Beauty Bay, the lovely Beauty Bay kindly sent me this. So I'm gonna go in with my, just a little fluffy brush, um, just a brush, I'm gonna get all the green colors back together. So I'm just gonna mix in between called uh, Slice of Lime and Granny Smith. So it's like the two shades. And I'm just gonna start plopping that down. And getting more of that green color back. Now you see the difference between this side here and this side here, this side is a bit more pale and this side has a bit more color. And once we start building everything up, um, like the yellow colors and the darker colors, everything's gonna come together beautifully. So I'm gonna quickly speed through this uh, and I'll be back once everything is powdered. Okay, so I've gone in and done all the green colors. We're gonna go in with a bigger brush and we're gonna start doing the yellows and making these, Once, girl, once you get these yellows, you look in, that's when the look comes together because the, the yellows really do make the difference. So I'm taking a bright yellow color called Hello Sunshine. I like sunshine and I'm gonna start plopping that underneath my eyes and blending that with the green to marry all the colors. Gonna marry them. Mm -hmm. 
and then with the yellow i don't want this to look really yellow because i don't want this highlight to be that bright but i still want to put some color just underneath here to give my jawbone a bit more definition and then we're going to go in with the darker colors we're going to take some darker greens some darker blacks and um, maybe even a couple of browns and we're going to start uh, contouring so i'm just going to use a dirty little brush that i found and we're going to take the darker um brown uh, darker green shade that's in that palette i don't really know what the color this is going to turn out like but we're just going to see i guess to further the contours just that extra bit with the green i think we'll use this So you see I've just gone in there and I've just further contoured that with the darker colour. A little bit under the chin, I kind of want to give myself quite a pointy chin, like a witch. But then also since the nose is quite outwards, I kind of want to give everything a bit more of that shape pointing out as well as everything going up. Okay, so now we're going to go in with the blacks and we're just going to give it a very, very, very soft contour just at the edge because we have contoured a lot, but just to contour it even further, <sighs> taking the black, And honestly, that is going to be enough. Just put some colour down and then blend it out once we have figured out where all the contours are going. So you're just going to put the contours in the normal places you would, making sure everything stays nice and blended as you go. You don't want much harsh lines just now. Close the palette and then just what's ever left on the brush you're just going to start blending that out. Okay, so now that I've got my highlight and contours done with powders, obviously I know that I'm a goblin, but a goblin still needs a little bit of blush. No, a little bit of blush never hurt nobody. So we're going to take from the Beauty Palette, the Beauty Bay Palette again, we're going to take a purple shade, this shade called Purple Power. I feel like that's quite a good name for this. I'm gonna go in and I'm just gonna tap that in place because purples are darker, obviously. It's a darker color. I'm just gonna blend that in with the black. Okay, so I'm going to start doing my eyes and I'm again, as the last tutorial, I'm going to go in and I'm going to just map out where I want my liner, where I want the cut crease and I'm going to fill in the eyebrows as well just because I have the black marker here. So I'm just going to go in and give that light and this is going all the way up. Like, so we're going to go from this eye. And we're taking it there. We're, we're going to take it right up to the hairline. like so and then from the point in the prosthetic that we obviously have here we're just going to make a line following that same shape and we're just going to wing it out Okay, so now that we have the black liner where I'm going to be doing my eyeshadow, I'm also going to go in with the Beauty Bay palette yet again, and we're going to take some shadow on the a little small uh, fluffy brush, quite a dense one, and we're just going to blend that line out with the black. Now we're going to go in with our clown white yet again and we're going to take some of that and we're just going to cut underneath our eyes just so we can have a really nice white line there so we can do some really fun under eye eye makeup as well. And then just taking your finger, blend that out underneath your eye. And then we're just gonna take some of that white and we're just gonna set underneath our eyes. So we have a good 
base to start with under the eyes. Okay, so now that I've got the white there, I'm just gonna go back in with the black and we're just gonna make ourselves a lovely under eye. Okay, now on the show, I done like a pinky purple sort of eye. So we're gonna imitate that again. And we're gonna take the shade that we actually used to contour and we're just gonna take that on a fluffy brush and we're just gonna tap around the black. So I'm just blending up the purple and I'm not really caring if it looks all that gray because it's meant to sort of look grungy, dark, mysterious, smoky, purple, black eye. So we're just doing that really today. Take some more purple going underneath the eye. So I'm going in with a pink shade after I've sort of diffused the purple, diffused the black. I'm going in with a pink shade and I'm just lightly tapping that all over these colors just to give it a bit more of a pinky tone as well. Okay, so now that I've got the eyeshadow looking the way that I like it on the show and the way that I sort of remember it being, um, I'm gonna do my eyebrows, cut my crease and do my liner off camera just because you've seen me do that a million times, but I've only got two big tutorials on YouTube. But anyways, I'm gonna do it off camera and I'll be back with doing finishing touches and uh, lips and stuff like that. Okay, so now that everything is sort of all put together, I know it's quite a big dramatic change from what I had just a second ago to what it is now, but um, it's quite, I mean, you've seen it done before. I've done my liner, I've cut the crease of tone, like y'all know the gig by now. Um, I'm just gonna go into my face and add a, a bit more texture to the skin as um, everything's looking a bit too clean. I kinda need to like grunge it up a little bit more. So I'm gonna add just with a, what is this called? Eyeliner. Uh, I'm just going to add some dots all over my face just to give it a bit more life. And then since we've done all the little black dots, we're going to go in and we're just going to put some white dots as well. Okay, so I think the last thing we have to do is lips and then obviously lashes and the rest of the look. But for lips, I'm just gonna go in with a purple lip liner and we're just gonna do our normal shape for our lips. Okay, so I've got the basic outline of the lips. I'm gonna go in with like a dark purpley pink color and I'm just gonna fill it in and then we're gonna add a very fun color on top of everything else. So before we go in and uh, contour these lips and make them a little bit darker, I'm gonna first uh, top off with uh, Blue's brand new lipsticks from Be Perfect Cosmetics. I just got the set in the mail today, so it's my first time trying this out. Um, this is in shade, ah, Shady Lady. So I'm just gonna apply this to the center of the lips and then blend it out. And then we're gonna go in and contour the lips a bit further. So, yeah. Oh! Oh, that's bright. And then going back in with the lip liner, we're just gonna darken everything up a little bit more. So now that the face is all done, I'm gonna go off camera, do lashes, top and bottom. And uh, she's versatile with her lashes, mama. And we're gonna be right back with the final monster mashup look. And this is the finished look for my Monster Mashup makeup tutorial. The brief that we had for this runway was Halloween meets high fashion and we had to take two of our most iconic monsters, Halloween creations, goblins, ghouls, witches, anything and we had to mash them together to create a high fashion look. The two Halloween characters that I picked for this look was a goblin with the green skin and then a werewolf with the sort of like over the top, big hair, shaggy dog sort of look that I got with. This runway was a lot of fun because I got to show a lot of my makeup skills with this runway as well as the presentation. I thought I had a lot of fun walking down that runway, 
Going at the judges and like having a little like cheeky giggle. Oh, not all my hair coming in my face. Having like a little cheeky giggle on the runway and just having fun. And at the end of the day, that's what drag is about, having fun. And I certainly had fun with this look. If you guys like this video, make sure to give it a massive thumbs up because I'm going to be doing a lot more tutorials in the future. Subscribe below and make sure to hit that bell notification so you're notified every single time that I upload a new video. For other social media, merch and cameos, make sure to go check out my link tree at the top of the description. I hope you guys enjoyed this week's episode of Dolled Up With Diamond and make sure to tune into next week's episode of RuPaul's Drag Race UK Season 2. Thank you guys so much for watching and make sure to keep it spooky. Ah! Oh my god, my ear fell off. They call me Mega Trump. He's coming super mild. Oh my god, I was almost sick. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> I'm gonna do a TikTok now.